What up, peeps? Mr. Bones back at you, and it is once again Wild Eye Wednesday. And what we're going to talk about is Violator. This is a crazy, gory movie. Death is the ultimate goal for this new Japanese gore fest by someone on Letterboxd. Gather and die. A woman is trying to find out what happened to her missing younger sister when she discovers a sinister online bulletin board on mass suicide that leads her to a small isolated village where desperate teenagers gather to find death. From cult Japanese director Junichi Yamamoto Known for Meatball Machine, Musashino Senno Shimai from 2012, and The Adventure of Magical Michiko from 2018. Also, this is for fans of Tokyo Gore Police, The Machine Girl, Robo Geisha, and Vampire Girl vs. Frankenstein. Wild Eye Releasing, in association with Tomcat Films, presents Violator, starring Mai Arai. Shinichi Fukazawa, Shun Kitagawa, Shinji Kubo, Sora Kurami, Kanai Suzuki, written and directed by Junichi Yamamoto. So this starts with that main girl there on the cover and her mother in an apartment and they don't know where the younger girl in the family is and she sees this uh, laptop where the girl had been in some kind of suicide chat room where a group of people were supposed to meet somewhere to all die together some shit and she finds the location to talk to her sister and try to get her out of there and pretty quickly things just start going crazy as hell in this movie this guy here and a group of like three other guys show up to ask why what they're doing in that place and to not bring disturbance to their little village but it turns out they're nutcases and this guy all of a sudden puts this crazy kabuki face paint on and pulls his wife's arm off which is a prosthetic which is a fucking sword with a plastic hand handle and slaughters a guy and then cuts this other girl's head off that was there to die anyway so she's she finds it all funny and says I'm so excited and then he cuts her head off I'm like how excited are you now and uh there's just all kinds of crazy shit in this. Like this one guy trying to off himself with a box cutter, but he can't bring himself to actually do it. And then this other girl, this girl comes up and starts consoling him and hugging him. And seems like she's trying to talk him out of it. And starts taking her clothes off. And she says, you were a virgin. Like she's going to take his virginity or something. And he says, maybe life is worth living for. Then all of a sudden she thrusts forward and this big meaty spiky thing comes flying out of her waist and stabs him through the head and kills him. And then I don't know if they were trying to rip off sleepaway camp or what but she has her jaw wide open making this crazy fucking noise. And um, there's these three guys that follow one of the women out in the forest and just beat the hell out of her and stomp the shit out of her till she dies. There's one scene where there's this lady with a little like four or five year old daughter and she goes up to this guy and he picks her up and she stabs a Barbie doll feet first through his eyeballs and I guess through his brain because he drops dead. Like I said, it's just all kinds of crazy shit and it's, gore, it's a gore fest. And there's a twist ending. Um... Yeah, there is a twist ending. I won't run it if, in case someone's watching this that would have some interest in checking it out. I won't run the movie. 
it was a pretty good pretty cool watch pretty interesting nice gore blood and yeah that's what I watched peace